Is there a problem? Uh, no. No, everything's fine. Uh, it would be better if you left now. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, everything's fine. You, uh, uh, I, I can't talk to you now. Whatever it is that brought you here, you had better forget it and hit the road. That was no big deal. Hey, you! Hey, Yoko! Have you lost your way? All just rumors. Go back to your field and pull up a few turnips! Tell me that isn't true. Who told you that? Everything all right? Mm, as soon as anyone says anything yeah, wrong around change. here, the dance starts. So watch your step yeah, or there'll be a slaughter. Will you join the fight? I'm not just going to stand here when the ruckus starts, but that I'm not going to push it either. That will never change. Those cutthroats are threatening my husband. We are citizens of the town, loyal to the king, and the mercenaries are planning to rob us. Now don't you just stand there, do something, help us. Nobody ever asks me. Who are you? My name is Enum. I'm one of the field hands. And the half pot over there is my brother, Egil. We've been working here on the farm for Akil for several years. How's the field work going? Do you want to help? There's another hole back there. Grab it and then head for the field. You just have to make sure that the field raiders don't surprise you. They'll tear your arm right off with one bite. Why don't you do anything about the field raiders? I've killed more of them than I can count. The only problem is they keep coming back. Wait a minute. What's up? It's been a long time since we've seen a stranger on our land who didn't want to skin us. I hope I'm not wrong about you. I'm Agil, and the strange bird over there is my brother Anim. How's the field work going? Great. If those miserable field raiders weren't constantly destroying our harvest. Why don't you do anything about the field raiders? You're joking. Since I've been on this farm, I've killed so many of the beasts that I've lost count. But alas, new ones keep coming. Your brother tells a similar story. Ah, what exactly does he say? That he has also done away with plenty of field raiders. What? That loser can't even find his way home by himself. Tell him he shouldn't brag like that. Your brother thinks you're a braggart. What? He's actually got the nerve to say that? He'd better watch out or I'll teach him a lesson. Go and tell him that. Wait a minute. Enem is a bit irritated about this thing. He shouldn't puff himself up so much, else I'll tear his head off. Tell him that. Hey. I think the two of you should just relax. The bastard didn't give in, am I right? I'll tear out his guts. Tell him that. Why don't you tell him yourself? I'll do that.
Well, at least you've got some gold on you. I think I'll take your weapon. Wait a minute. Do you want to cause even more trouble? I think it would be better if you left now. Nothing there. I've changed my mind. I'll pay you the ten gold coins. Wonderful. Better late than never. And now? I need your help. If it's absolutely necessary, what's wrong? The farmer Akil is under attack by mercenaries. What? Those Riff Ralph are hanging around on Akil's farm? Then let's not waste any time. Follow me. Now watch how this works. You don't have to ask me that. I'm gonna rip you to pieces. damage. Wait a minute. Hey. Everything all right? Yes, I'm fine. That Alvarez has become bolder and bolder lately. Good thing that's over now. What I could use now is a good drop in the tavern. You're not from around here, right? I come from the Southern Isles. At some point they said they needed people in Corinnus because of that magic ore. But when I got there, they had this huge barrier in place and I didn't want to go in there. So I started working in the harbor. Well, the ship stopped coming in and so I went to work for Akil. I've had worse jobs actually. You hang out in the tavern? That's right but not recently. I cannot afford going there anymore. What exactly is going on there in the tavern? There's gambling there. Two fellows compete against each other. Whoever can hold the most beer wins. In the end, I did nothing but lose, and now I need to make some more money first. 
Who did you go up against? Against Rukar, that old good-for-nothing. So far, he's beaten me every time. But somehow, I have the creeping suspicion that the filthy swine has laced my beer with gin every time. I suspect he keeps the gin hidden in that damn chest of his, that lousy scumbag. Somebody ought to sneak some plain water into his chest. Then he can lace my beer all he wants. If I only had enough money to compete against him one more time. Thank Innes. I thought my time had run out. My name is Akio. I've farmed this humble piece of land. Who were those people? Those were mercenaries from Onar's farm. Those bastards don't know anything but plunder and murder. I'd been fearing the worst. Well, thank Innes it didn't come to that. Tell me, what can I do for you? What about a few gold pieces? I'm afraid to disappoint you. We're poor farmers. It's just enough to live on. All I can offer you is a meal. Go to Katie and let her take care of you. Have you heard anything about missing citizens? Don't make me laugh. Heard of them? Some of my own people are missing. Tonak and Telbor used to work on my fields until three days ago. And I know exactly that they wouldn't up and leave the farm just like that. And yet they've simply vanished and no one can tell me where they went. If you happen to find out what's become of them, be sure to let me know, will you? What did the mercenaries want from you? You don't know that? Onar, the landowner, hired them. They guard his farm and collect the rent for him. And that means they go from farm to farm and take whatever they want. And whoever can't pay gets a taste of their steel. Baltram sent me. I'm supposed to pick up a shipment for him here. So, you're his new messenger. Okay, I've already made up the package. You know your way around this area? Sure. What do you want to know? What is there in the woods behind your farm? There's just a whole bunch of monsters back there. And the wolves are the least dangerous. A few bandits are also said to have their caves there. Well, they've left my farm alone so far. Where can I find Onar's farm? Just go back down the stone steps and follow the road to the east. At some point, you come to a tavern. From there, you go farther east until you come to the big fields. That's where the mercenaries hang out. I've got to go. So long. I really wish I could have done more for you. Hey, you! Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Why don't you defend yourself against Onar's tyranny? For us farmers near the city, it makes more sense to stay on the good side of the city militia than to rely on Onar's mercenaries. On the other hand, there's Bengar and Sekub who would rather give up their farms than work for the king. Where do I find the farms of Bengar and Sekub? They're not far from the farm where the landowner lives. Go east from here and you'll find them. Haven't you ever considered moving away from here? It's not easy to get away from this part of the country. All the land is walled in by high, insurmountable chain of mountains. The only two ways out of here are the pass to the Valley of Mines and the harbor. Since we cannot afford passage on a ship, and the Valley of Mines is a place of no return, we're going to have to stay here. What do you know about the pass? I've never been there myself, but it must be somewhere near Bangar's farm on the high pastures. Look out for your husband. I shall do my best. Hey, you! Akil says you've got a meal for me. We've hit some hard times ever since the barrier fell and the land is no longer safe. Here's a loaf of bread, a little meat and some water. That's all I can spare, I'm afraid. All right, that's that. I'll be off then.
dark soul day too. That's the first I've heard of it. Nothing surprises me anymore. What are you doing here? <laughs> this is my home. But if you mean, what do I do all day? I arrange fights. You arrange fights? Every day, from noon until evening. And right here, behind the warehouse in the Harbor District. Home sweet home. What are the rules for the fight? Quite simple. All regular weapons are allowed. No bows or crossbows, and no magic. We fight until one of us drops. And as soon as one of us is flat on his back, it's over. Got it? Whoever leaves the <laughs> ring is out. So if you quit, I win. The stake is 50 gold coins. If you win, you get 100 back. If not, well, then your money is down the drain. Got it? Yep. You live behind the warehouse? It's only temporary. When you have as much gold as I do, you can afford a little luxury. I was a drill instructor in the army, but I left that bunch to seek my fortune in adventure. Now I've wound up in this shithole. My last 100 gold pieces went to the guards at the city gate, so I'm seeing to it that I come into money again. I even had to sell my sword. I want to fight against you. Do you have 50 gold pieces? Here you are. We have a new challenger. The bets are placed. Are you ready? Come here. Then let's see Hear what you ye, can do. Inhabitants of Corinus, by the explicit uh. of the imminent oh, that's the ticket. Give it your all. That's the ticket. Ah. Ah. Hit Atta him. Boy. Ah. Give Atta it your all. Ah. Yeah, Show him. That's the ticket. Give Slug it your him. all. Oh. Atta boy. Oh. Give Slug it your him. all. Ah. Give yeah, it your that's all. The ticket. Atta boy. Ah. What Show you waiting him. for? Bad. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. The security oh, measures for the protection of the upper quarter oh, will be man. further strengthened. You pack quite a punch. Here's your 100 gold pieces. You've earned them. And one more thing. No one talks entry. about what goes on behind the warehouse. The militia puts everyone who does the slightest thing here behind bars. And those boys don't like to see betting on fights. To whom did you sell the sword? I swapped it with a trader in the marketplace for some stuff. The guy's called Jorah. The torches and the bit of meat that he gave me are long used up. He isn't likely to give me the sword for nothing. It's an old sword. He won't want much for it. Just think of the money as an extra stake for the fight. What do you know about the war against the orcs? There's not much to tell. The war has been going on for too long. The country people are starving. Everywhere there are peasant revolts that are put down mercilessly by the king. But there's just too many of them. If the war doesn't end soon, the realm will fall apart. Can you train me? As long as you have the necessary experience, sure. I want to fight against you. Nah, nah. Before I go up against you again, I need a better weapon. I had to sell my sword a few days ago. With that baby, I'm unbeatable. 
If you get it back for me, I'll take you on again. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus, by the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen. I brought the package. Well done. I'll see to it that I sell it. Come back tomorrow. You didn't get the... Anything's possible. I can't help. They can't go on like this forever. So why won't they listen to me? Hey! Oh, are you landlubber? Looks like you're stranded here. You look a bit pale around the gills. Never mind, my lad. All you need is a good stiff sea breeze. What are you doing here? Back when I was a young man, I went to sea and rode through many a big storm. No big deal, not at all. But that old tower came closest to what I call a home. I haven't been up there in ages. Why not? Ever since these scallywags took over my lighthouse, I haven't dared get closer to it than 20 feet. Really bad rabble, that. They're criminals from the Valley of Mind, you know. There was this big bang on the other side of the mountains, and they swarmed all over the land like flies. Now they're hiding out everywhere, even in my lighthouse. I think they're on the lookout for any ship they can raid. Ah, let them. Then at least they'd be out of my tower. Do you come to town often? I always say, a town is only as good as its harbor. A harbor is the gate to the world. That's where everyone meets and where everything starts. Once the harbor goes to the dogs, the rest of the city will follow soon. Tell me about the harbor. The harbor of Corinus isn't what it used to be. There's nothing but riffraff hanging about. The ships don't come anymore and trade is dead. This harbor is about to go under. So why don't you leave? Nobody would take an old sea dog like me on his ship these days. Most people think that old Jack's got the gout in his rotten old bones. And are they right? Balderdash. Once I've got those planks beneath me feet again, I'll feel like a young whippersnapper. What do you mean by riffraff? Look at them, the lazy rabble. Most of them don't even know what work is. All they do is drink all day and spend their last pay at the brothel. I tell you, stay away from them. Why are the ships no longer coming? They all say that once the war is over, everything will be like it used to be. That's a load of bilge water. I tell you, a sailor can see when a town's going downhill. A sailor feels that in his blood. And I can tell you, forget about this harbor. It's heyday's over. 